An interesting topic that's going on currently here in agriculture is how we adapt. Um, how do we adapt and innovate in the industry, that what we got right now. In the last year, we went from a finger pickup planter to automatic shutoffs to in furrow fertilizer. Before we were doing two by two fertilizer and just several different adjustments we're doing to try to gain those next steps and yield. Yeah, we started out with an old uh, trailer we built and had a 300 gallon tank in it and a welder for a generator and it worked all right, but all of a sudden my oldest son thought we needed to start going towards a fuel tender with def and everything. We ended up looking at Thunder Creek and I had one that was going to another customer and I always try to pull something into the lot if I can and dad takes a look at it and he likes what he sees or not. It works awful nice and then you still have air compressor generator Plus, it really feels fast. It pumps probably 100 times faster than our electric pump does, so you don't spend much time filling up anymore. By the time you get the windows washed, it's full. It can hold as much fuel as possible. I mean, we were only holding 300 gallons, so now we're holding 990 gallons plus another 100 gallons of depth. I mean, tractors these days take depth, so we're not getting around it anyway like that. I look at it as innovative because it's set the stage in the marketplace. You got air, you got fuel, you got def, because all of our tractors now have def on it. If we have a part broke, um, I can pull out the air compressor, out the reel, get the impact out, we can do it real quick and simple instead of using wrenches and trying to find a socket or something like that. Just overall profit at the end of the day. With the commodities where they're at now, um, it's getting tougher and tougher to go to make money to survive and that's what we got to do so it's all about efficiency you, when we brought the thunder creek into our operation it was simply to make us more efficient it was the days of it takes you 10 20 30 minutes to fill up a tractor now it takes five ten minutes um, now we got a full service trailer at the field um, that's helping us every step of the way